everyone welcome back to my channel oh my word it's been a while or it seems like it has anyway i thought i would just play about with some makeup and i thought i might use this palette today this is the natasha denona glam palette that i got from my lovely friend cheryl and i thought we would just maybe throw on some makeup because i've got plenty of makeup and i don't really use it but as much so, let's get this hair out of the way. I don't think I've got a clasp in here though. I'll just put it to the side. So basically, the situation is my skin has been dire. I've had like the red bumps, the dry patches, my eyes were just, my skin was just peeling around my eyes. It was just awful. So that's another reason why I haven't really been doing makeup. I was actually going to film a face mask video today and then I was just like, you know what? Let's just add some stuff. So the first thing I'm going to use is this Bobbi Brown Extra Bare Glow Illuminating Moisture Balm. The weather has been so clammy yet raining in Scotland. It's just awful. I haven't slept properly the past two nights with the heat and I have a lovely ingrown toenail so that's just delightful. But there's always something, isn't there? I love this stuff and it smells so delicious. Okay, let me just have a gander. Yeah, my skin's looking okay. It's more... It was more the texture of stuff. Okay, so for primer, I think I want to use my NYX Honey Dew Me Up primer because it just feels so nice on the skin. It's like so cooling. Really, oh, really cooling. I'm going to take. some sort of brush and just brush that over my skin. I mean if you're not used to the channel you know how much oh I've got my skincare I use and hyaluronic acids and stuff. So it is quite annoying when your skin does react but I also think when my anxiety is high, it doesn't just affect you mentally, but physically as well. So it's the Monday after the football final. I'm not really into football, I'm really not. It's, I just, it doesn't interest me. But I think it is absolutely disgusting, the racism that's going on with it all. And I also think that it is absolutely wrong that all these people were allowed in a stadium when we're still in a pandemic. I'm using my Bobbi Brown colour corrector in light bisque. I just think it is disgusting and I think that it should never have been allowed. Like, why would you go and let all these people when you can't even, if you've got children, go to their graduation from, like, school to another class or sports days and such things. But you can let a bunch of football hooligans, which is basically what the majority of them are go to a football match and you can just watch it from the comfort of your own home and keep your own self and others safe but if we hold let's move on from that because you don't think now there's no doubt going to be people that completely disagree there I'm going to use my one size loose powder that I was kindly sent by the lovely Bruce of the Honest Beauty. I'm really loving this. So thank you so much for sending me it. 
it's a brand I've never heard of. I don't, I'll need to look them up a bit more and maybe see what more they do. So there you go. But I'm happy for Italy. And it is my Italian friend Carmine's birthday today as well. So, anyways, right, let's do the eyeballs. So, in this palette, they say things like center eyelid, outer eyelid, inner corner crease transition, that sort of thing. So, it's quite a good palette if you're maybe somebody that kind of struggles with that sort of thing. Was warm. So I'm going to go for the transition colour first because, excuse me, the only kind of one in it. And I'm just going to put it all over my eyelid. The heat is ridiculous. Honestly, I hate being warm. I hate it. Now, so that's just an all over shade really, and then a crease colour, there's only one crease colour in there, so I'll just use the same, you don't need much on it, I think maybe this brush is too big actually for my key, but we'll just lightly apply it. I've got a tub of stuff like I was going through my collection the other day because I know there's some stuff that I've had for the longest time and it really should be getting decluttered because, you know, things do dry out, go off and all that sort of thing. But then I'm like, no, oh, you know what I mean? And then there's some stuff that I just don't use or don't think it's worth it and I could you know, sell hopefully on my Depop or whatever and maybe try and get a little bit of money for it and then use Depop to <laughs> buy some more so that I actually have stuff that I can add to my collection or what have you. But I do have stuff on my Depop. My Depop is Hoops. 83 or hoops 1983 I always forget so you should go and check it out so that's the transition shade uh, the crease shade which is like this one okay let me have a look and then we'll just go into that blend shade blendy 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 The other thing that puts me off putting makeup on myself is because, see when it comes to me taking this off later, my skin's like screaming, even though I use the most gentlest of products. I think my skin has just become so sensitised. Right, so let's have a look and see what we've got here. Centre of the eyelid, inner corner, outer eyelid. I don't know, I think I've been for... I'm going to go for this center of the eyelid color and I'm just going to use my finger to start off with. And just press it on. It's just a really nice like sort of light goldy shade. I'll press that on the center. Okay, then we've got outer eyelid, so I'm trying to think of which one we want to do for that. Take a wee tinier brush. Mm. 
outer eyelid. I'll go for the sort of more bronzy one at the side of it. I also think I've lost my confidence with it a bit as well. Because um, I don't have the best lighting set up and I also don't have the money to get like a box light or anything else. But I was getting in my way. I'm gonna put that palette down and use this button now because then I can hold it like that. A little bit of schmucks, and then I'm gonna take a clean, fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in to the blend shade. Again, and I'm just lightly going to take that over there just to blend it out. I haven't put my foundation on yet, so I don't even know if I will put foundation on. I might just put tinted some moisturizer on. Okay, so and then we've got inner lid, center of lid, inner corner. So just one inner corner. The inner corner seems to be this sort of champagne pinky colour. We'll just stamp that into there. Okay, let's leave it like that for the minute. Now, where did I put my concealers? Oh, yes. I moved my concealer to paint. So I'm going to take this Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite in C4. This is more of like a pinky toned concealer because I like the fact that, you know, it's a bit more neutralizing as well. And I'm going to take a bit of it up there because I just don't like the way that is sitting on my skin. So I'm taking this Unicorn Cosmetic Sponge and we'll just sort that out there. I hate that little dip in my eye there. I'm not sure about this concealer either, to be honest. I think it's just a wee bit too thick for my... I get milia here and that's where I get the dryness and stuff as well, so... Right, let me just use the brush that I used for my primer and just slightly do that. Now we need to set the under eye, so I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder. I'm just going to take the sponge as well and just set it under there. <sighs> the heat of madness. It's a very subtle eye anyway. Now, it says we've got smoke as well, so if I can take just this little small brush here, and I'm just going to thing it into there, and I'm going to, if my hand will stop shaking, just sort of smoke it at the edges there.
not taking it all the way in, just sort of there. Right, stop blinking, would you? Sweet is pouring over me. Oh my god. So then we just added that brown, and then what we can do is go in with that little small elf brush and just give a wee smudge. Now, I feel like I want to take, oh my god, come on, a little tiny brush and I just want to go into the blend shade again and the white way. Blended since it's a blending shade. I also think it's so warm to be wearing makeup. I'm going to go back in with that centre lid colour but on a brush this time and just try and really make it pop Okay, and then what I'm going to do is the same brush that I used with the smoke colour I'm just going to lightly stuff it under the lashes. And then we'll take the other brush and just smoke it. Okay. I think I'm just going to use my Lumine Instant Skin Tint and I'm just going to dip this sponge into it. Just the tip of the sponge and I'm just going to deposit some of that over my face. Since I'm feeling quite roasting, there is literally no point in me putting too much on my face. She seems a little <laughs> still seeing bits of texture there on the skin, but it is not half as bad as it was. I got some cream from the chemist. Make sure to always take it down the neck. I love it. Okay. Now. I am going to use my hoo -hoo's. Wait a second. The NARS Orgasm Blush. Because it's kind of like a blush. Um, Highlight in one really. 
so then we don't have to really use anything else and just take it a wee bit there. On the nose for a wee bit of sparkle. I don't know if I want to do anything else. I don't know if I need a bit of bronze of some description. Maybe I'll take the Park Avenue Princess one by Tart and a big brush. This is quite a light. Oh, it smells amazing. This is such a good wee bronzer as well. I don't like really pigmented bronze. I just want a wee bit of something. But I don't want the full on whack of all, you know? So I feel like this just gives me enough, get that back in there, and put you back in there, put them there. Okay, let me think, right, so a bit of mascara, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. Lovely. Oh, a bit fussy one under there. And then for lips, I don't know what to use for lips actually. I think I might use Fussy by Fenty. These are like the nicest glosses ever. Made your lips so juicy and nice. And then to finish off, I'm going to use the Wet and Wild Mega Glow Spritz. There might be a little bit of fall down from the mascara. I was thinking that because I've just put it on. Should have waited a wee bit. Oh, oh, it was about transfer or something. Have no fear. And I'll just use the sponge just to bind that into the skin. And that's me finished. So that's the look. I know it's not amazing, but. I just wanted to do some makeup today using the Natasha Denona palette. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell button to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you next time. Hope you have a good week since it's only Monday. Bye.